uh, in this video you will learn how to hide and on how to hide a whole class how to hide how to hide a whole class or how to lock a whole class or how to hide or lock the content of the class that is the lessons of the class so what do you do first go to click on this triple arrow um, bars here or lines and then take your mouse pointer to the class or classes then your class will show here click on that particular class because you have a number of classes or you, or you have classes there if you have created many so here now this I have two lessons under this class which is physics js3 so by the right you see the key icon can you see the key icon so if you click on lock that will lock everything inside physics js3 so it means the all all your students will only see the class physics js3 but they can enter it let alone seeing the lessons inside it that is number one now, what if you are not interested in locking the whole class? You want the student to be able to enter the class and see the lessons, but they shouldn't be able to take the lessons. So it means you have to lock the lessons one by one. So now double click on the lesson. Double click on the lesson. So can you see now? These are all your lessons. So under this lesson, I have um, so I have two two lessons. Remember, I have two lessons there. Two lessons. The first one is what is physics, the second one is fundamental and derived quantities. So now let us go back. So now under physics, these are the icons, these are the items under it, that is the content. We have welcome to physics, branches of physics, up to quiz. The under fundamentals of physics, um, I have fundamental quantities one, fundamental quantities two, voice notes, derived quantities, you know, all those stuff. Let me click on expand or you see them here. So now, let's assume I'm not interested in uh, hiding the whole class. I just want to lock lesson. So now I want to lock lesson one. Lesson one is what is physics. Lesson two is fundamental and derived quantities. So now let me go back to, let me go and hide lesson one. What is physics? That is everything under it i want to lock it so I'll just click on it can you see lesson on the uh, lesson overview so under it you see a uh, section completion hidden lock now if i want to hide everything under uh, if i want to hide the whole of what is physics that is lesson one meaning that nobody will see what is physics let alone seeing what is content uh, well, let alone seeing the content of the lesson what is physics if it is lesson two you want to hide you do the same thing click on the lesson can you see now you see section you see completion uh, you see lock you see lock here yeah, i don't have um, lock so here now you can't lock this one you can uh, you, you can hide this you can only lock it i think it's only for the first lesson the hidden is only uh, it's only the first lesson that has it so now if i want to hide the first lesson there i'll just click on hide then can you see now here and i have hidden it so it means the student will not be able to see the lesson let alone having access to it but lesson two will be available to them they will see everything and they can do also everything they like with it that is they can take they can take the class now let's assume i don't want to hide i want the student to be able to see it but they shouldn't have access to it so now i'll click on show and then on top here i'll click on lock i'll click on lock so here is it lock unlock so if i click on lock it means they will see the lesson what is physics but they can access uh they will see the lesson what is physics but they can't open it to see the content of what is physics now let's assume I don't want to lock the whole lesson, I don't want to hide the whole lesson. It's the content of the lesson I want to hide. So just click on the lesson and then after clicking on the le lesson you see this page by the right. See this page here like this. You can see hide here. So check these boxes. Check the ones you want to hide. So by clicking on them you are hiding them. 
So hide them, hide them, hide them, so that the student will see the class. They will have access to the. Uh, they will see the lesson. They will, have they will have access to the lesson, but they can't see the content. That is, welcome to physics. Branches of physics. Branches of physics. Branch up to quiz. They will not see them, uh, let alone assessing them because you've hidden them. But they will see this. They will see the lesson, but they will not see the content. So they will see what is physics. But by the time they click on it, nothing will show here up to quiz, up to quiz. The same thing if you want to hide the lessons under number two. But before I move to lesson number two, let us discuss about giving a quiz or not giving a quiz. Now, let's assume you have created your quizzes and you are seeing not giving, not giving, not giving. So just click on the particular quiz, either on this page or you go to the right the left here click on the quiz any of the quizzes that is not given because for you to know whether it is given um, click on any of the quizzes you want to lock so here you will see um, give under schedule you will see give i'm using a different account that's the reason why i can't have access to it here so now you see give by the time you click on give they will be available to your student but if you don't give them even if you hide, uh, even if you unhide, they will only see the lesson, but they can't do anything to it. You have to give give it out because before they can attempt it. So you can use that to hold them in your class. That is until you give them the permission to go ahead with the test or quiz, they can't do it in your absence. They can't do it in your absence. That is one of the ways you can uh, check them. Um, I think that is basically all about locking a class, uh, locking a class. That's all about locking a class, giving a quiz, locking lessons, locking content or hiding content. If you have any question, you can drop it. In the absence of no question, if this video helps solve your problem, please click on subscribe and the bell, the bell there. Thank you.